Ford GMC Sierra uh, 1500 2015. Problem with this car is that uh, <clears throat> window switch module ain't working right. Uh, customer states that he cannot go down or up on his buttons. Neither four of these. This one doesn't work neither, but this one does. So I'm looking up the schematics. I do have power. This this red uh, red purple is power. The black is ground. It has both of them, but it wasn't working correctly. Still, problem was that there's a network cable here. This green yellow. What I basically did was trace that wire because I know that these cars, in general, all cars start breaking their wiring right right on this boot here. When I did it, I just stuck this one right there. Pinned it, right? Pinned it here. You can see that? I stuck a little one there and I pinched it with my alligator clip. And let me turn on my torch. And I pinched the other one right there. Alright, let's see if my darn flash can work better. Alright, so yeah, I pinched that one right there. What I did was, with my meter, I checked for continuity from point to point from here to here was perfect from here to here it wasn't perfect open loop then from here to there perfect so I have a problem with my wiring from here to here and I'm assuming that it's right there but I'm not gonna open the boot up I'm not gonna uh, make my client pay a bit more just to, for me to just open the whole thing up because it's gonna cost them a lot more contradictory right a bit more all right so yeah <clears throat> Yeah, basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slip a new wire through, thicker, bigger, better, better, stronger, uh, go through here, uh, come out through here, and connect it, uh, connect it to here. So basically the jump is going to be from there to here. And uh, since it's going to be thicker, I'm just going to use a thicker gauge wire, see and compare it. I mean, it's just way better. And again, this is 2015. 2015 GMC Sierra so yeah hopefully once I finish this up it'll keep on working the same and that was it uh, so yeah basically when I uh, when I put that jumper from here to here and I actuated this guy my all four of my sides started working perfect that's it As a matter of fact, as an update, after you do your little test with the ohm meter, if you know how to use it, another simple test you can do to it is just pull the wire. Just pull it. This one came right out of the boot. I'm pulling it out, see how much slack I got. All of a sudden, it just came out. It broke off right there on the tip. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to strip it right there, put brand new, slip in, slip in new stuff, slip in new wiring, and get it done. But yeah, that's another brief test you can do. We'll just pull out this green yellow wire. If it pulls out, yeah, you got a broken wire. Complete the loop. Complete the loop. The catch to this guy. You can't just dig and connect, you know, just cut here and expect this jumper to work perfectly because this guy under here has another network data wire right there, which is up here and seems like it breaks into a Y some way and because of that I don't have a I can't make this window go down or up so make sure that at least in my case I'm gonna have to make a cut here somewhere and jump it to my uh, wire up here and I'm just gonna brace it here with a uh, strap make sure that the wire doesn't get touched by the window or anything at all make sure this is the most permanent fix I can give to this guy 
So yeah, make sure you get this catch. That this guy's separate in a Y. So once you make a cut here, you gotta understand that you gotta make a Y somewhere else so this guy can actually get the network uh, communication also and work properly. There we go, everything back together. Boom, down, up. Down, up. There we go, all good.